Well, welcome back, folks. This is our ninth instalment of Mo Star Mine, our quiz, which is run in conjunction with the Montrose Community Trust. And the next person who's up for the challenge of the quiz is the one and only Mr. Aaron Lennox. Hi, how are you? <laughs> how are you getting on, Aaron? How's things? Yeah, yeah, good, good. It's getting a, a little bit boring around the around the house at the moment, but especially with the Scottish weather seems to. You know, this is kind of ironic that we've just had really nice weather the last few days when you have to be stuck inside. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a great day if you have a garden, but if you don't have a garden, it's a pretty sad times today. Yeah, yeah. I was out, uh, out earlier just kind of just lying around, just trying to just catch up with some like acorns and stuff I'm going to do. So, yeah, no, it's been really, really quite pleasant outside. So, I mean, our name... Um, Obviously, uh, where is it that you're originally from, and are your family still still there? So originally, I'm from Sydney in Australia, um, a place called Menai, which is just south of, south of Sydney. Um, and yeah, so all my family's still there. My dad's over in uh, Brisbane, Gold Coast area, so up in Queensland. And my mum's in uh, Sydney, and brother and um, and whatnot are down there as well. So kind of spread out all over the place, and I'm yeah, you know, I'm all the way up over in Scotland. And are you uh, are you managing to keep in contact with with everyone at the moment? Yeah, yeah, it's difficult with the time difference, um, especially with the clock changing and everything as well. So it just makes it that little bit difficult to organise, um, trying to kind of find time to talk to each other because it's either got to be in the morning or late at night, and it's just um, you know obviously people are doing different things and trying to like trying to find that balance between you know I've got my partner working from home, so I've got to try and be quiet when she's working. So yeah, yeah. So. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, uh, what about you yourself? How are you managing to occupy your time? Well, basically, just trying to find little things around the around the house to do. So um, even today, I was out painting the windowsills, so climbing up the roof, um, doing like little things just around the house, tidying things up. Uh, the next thing I'm tackle is cleaning the garage, which is going to take a whole day. So hopefully, the weather stays nice tomorrow. Um, other than that. Trying to keep fit, going for runs. Um, I live right near Stalford Hill, so I've been running up and down the hills. Um, and then, yeah, just finding some new paths to try and, you know, try and stay fit. Um, coming up with my own little programs at home as well. Yeah, cool. So, um, you, uh, what you're telling me is your house is going to look absolutely fantastic at the end of all of this. Exactly. Well, that's the plan anyway. I'll probably get to walk halfway through and say, no, it's just too nice outside. <laughs> Good stuff. Well, uh, look, thanks very much for volunteering to be part of the quiz tonight, which, um, as uh, I've already said, is, is run in conjunction with the Community Trust. So I'm just going to take a moment to uh, mention one of the, the things that the Trust are currently doing at the moment. Um, before uh, COVID-19 uh, struck the, the planet, uh, one of the things that the Trust uh, were already doing was a football memories programme where they were bringing uh, individuals into the club and uh, they were showing them cards and film clips and actually introducing smells that they might associate with football in the past. And uh, obviously, uh, because, because of, uh, of, of the lockdown, there's not been the opportunity to, to bring these people into the club again. So what the, the club are, are doing is they're putting lots of materials online so um, if anybody wants to access those, thinks that there's somebody at home that would benefit from that, then they can do that. Um, but if they're struggling to, to get stuff online, um, then they just, again, need to contact the community trust and they will uh, arrange for it to, to be posted out to them. So although they can't come to the, the actual uh, club anymore, there is still the opportunity of this memories programme being put out there if, if anybody feels they would benefit from it. Um, obviously, you're you're fairly new at the club, but you you'll have seen some of the work that the guys are doing, yeah. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen a few of them so far. Yeah, I mean, uh, as we've said in the previous videos, there's lots and lots of different things these guys are doing, but uh, the the work they're doing currently is is absolutely vital, and um, they're always looking for 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 a little bit of cash to help them um, provide. Uh, the services that they're currently doing. So they've got a, a Just Giving page. I've managed to put something in there myself. And, and obviously, if there are people out there who do have a little bit of spare cash at the moment and can give to their, uh, their page, then uh, it would be greatly appreciated. Yeah. 
super stuff. Right, so uh, how confident are you feeling? Uh, not really confident at all. Um, being a sports quiz, it's probably, you know, I'm not, my sporting knowledge isn't actually that good. Um, well, look, don't, don't panic here, right? I'm going to, because this is number nine, I thought I'll go through the, the table, let people know exactly where folk are at the moment. So, in reverse order, bottom of the pile at the moment is uh, Lewis Hawk. He got two points. Then in seventh, it's Rusty. Uh, sixth is Paul. Uh, fourth equal is Matty Allen and Cami uh, Ballantyne. Third place is Webby. Second place is Steve's. And this is where the pressure is now really on you. In number one, it's Flem's. Flem. It yeah. <laughs> and it gets worse. He got 11 points. Yeah, so he's just got so much knowledge and just loves to talk too much. So, yeah. He's yeah. obviously got too much time on his hands, hands or something here. It was, uh, that's quite a score to beat. Anyway, I'll give you a quick, a quick rundown on the rules, mate. You've got 90 seconds to answer as many questions as you possibly can. If you give me an answer and it's wrong, I'll give you the correct answer before I move on. Uh, if you want to, you can pass at any point and we'll go over those answers uh, at the end. And if the bell rings, once I've started the question, I will finish the question and you'll get a chance at answering it. Okay, are we good to go? Right, Arn Lennox, your 90 seconds start now. Who became the first unseeded player to win the Wimbledon men's single title in 1985? Uh, John McEnroe? No, no. It was <laughs> Boris Becker. In which sport do you have players known as a muckman, rock rover and rover? Uh, Gaelic football. It's Australian rules football. Never heard of that. <laughs> Won the seven featured races at Ascot in 1996. Pass. Which England footballer was the fastest to reach 100 caps for England? <sighs> Bobby Charlton, I have no idea. Oh, it's Bobby Moore. Who was Formula One world champion in 1988, 1990, and 1991? Pass. I'm not <laughs> If you are watching an old firm derby, who is playing? Uh, Rangers and Celtic. Correct. Yeah. Uh, which German both captained and managed a world winning football team? Uh, um... Uh, past, uh, How old was Lewis Hamilton when he won his first Formula One World Championship? 19. 23. Oh, oh I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you this one. I'm going to give you this one, mate. And here we go. I've got no idea what any of these. <laughs> Are you ready? Which sports ball can't weigh more than 7.26 kilograms? Which sports ball can't weigh more than 7.26 kilograms? I've got no idea. Um, absolutely no clue. Uh, I'm going to have to pass. I've, I've done terribly here. It is a 10 pin bowling ball. Uh, fair enough. <laughs> so. Let's have a quick go through these. So, um, you, you didn't get Boris Becker. Um, it was obviously real football, mate. I've never heard of a Muckman before. Yeah, well, it was on the, it was on the, it was on the questions. Um, the jockey that won the seven races was Frankie de Torre. Uh, you didn't get Bobby Moore. The Formula One world champion was Ayrton Senna. Uh, you got the old firm being Rangers and Celtic. Um, the captain and manager of a World Cup winning team, Franz Beckenbauer. That's who that was. So, after all that, Arne, got the grand total of one. Fair enough. Every cloud has a silver lining, and that is that it wasn't a granny. You have at least got one question correct. Yeah, let's see Liam and CJ beat that. 
there is still hope of somebody being below you here. That is a reality. Yeah, definitely. I think you're going to have to maybe, by the sounds of things, pin your hopes on CJ and Liam. Everybody seems to think they're going to come plumb last. Yeah, me too. That's basically been a given since the start of quiz. So. <laughs> well, look, thanks very much for volunteering to do this on behalf of the, the Community Trust. Um, look after yourself, keep safe, keep healthy, and um, all the very best to, you, to your family and whoever it is you're self-isolating with at the moment. You too, mate. And yeah, cheers for that. I enjoyed it, even though I'm terrible. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take care, pal. Okay.